going on guys snake guys here playing some more dark souls 2 and in this video we're going to be doing a weapon showcase and the weapon we're going to be showcasing today is the fume sword now if you don't know how to get this weapon keep in mind that you do need the second dlc crown of the old iron king to get it uh, if you have the dlc all you have to do is beat the fume knight and trade his soul to weaponsmith ornifex uh, that's pretty much all you need to do to get this weapon now we're going to go ahead and go into the details of it since then I've upgraded mine to plus 5 and infused it with dark so my base damage is at 117. I also get a 109 in the dark damage. It has 120 in the counter strength. It does 25 poise damage per hit. It has 40 durability and it weighs 3 pounds. The requirements for this weapon is that you need 15 strength and 22 dexterity and you get an A scaling in dex and a B scaling in dark. Keep in mind that if you don't infuse it with anything, you actually get an S scaling in dark and a C scaling, or an S scaling in dexterity and a C scaling in dark. That's my bad. So that's kind of something you might want to weigh out. It ended up being, I think, like 10 added points in my total attack rating for me to go with dark. And um, so that's what I ended up deciding to go with. Uh, that might be a little different for you guys. But like I said, that's kind of something you need to fool around with and see if it's actually worth it. But for the most part, there are a couple of pros and cons with this weapon. Um, the two biggest pros that I can think of is actually kind of a cool one. Uh, one of them is that it has the exact same moveset as the Sun Sword. And the other one is that it's actually longer than the Drake Keeper Sword, making this um, the longest straight sword in its class. Now, for you guys who have been around my channel for a very long time, you guys know that the Drake Keeper Sword and the Sun Sword are actually my two favorite straight swords in the entire uh, class of the weapon. Um, combining both of those is kind of something cool and it, this is what you get um, and the fact that dark infusion has been my best infusion for me and you know I guess my personal PvP experiences is kind of something that just takes a lot of the good things that I really liked about a lot of the different weapons and uh, pretty much makes it one so that's kind of something that I really do like one of the cons though and I don't know if it was just me and the stuff or in the people that I was facing and whatnot but it seemed like the damage wasn't what it could be doing. Now what I mean by that is that when I was doing the Sun Sword and Drake Keeper Sword, I was still playing on the PS3. The character that I was using had the uh, maxed out soul memory. It had um, over 15 million soul memory uh, when I was reviewing those weapons. And even though it was at the max, I was fighting people with Havels and Smelters and all that. And I felt like I was doing a decent amount of damage for what I was doing. Uh, this character is nowhere near the max and for some reason I feel like I was doing less damage than I could be doing now that could be just in my head it's been a while since I've really played so I guess like damage and all that stuff is kind of just slipped away from me but for the most part that's what I felt and I felt like it was worth mentioning because like I said even though it has a lot of good things going for it I felt like damage total damage output was kind of lacking another good con about this weapon is that it's actually pretty light uh, coming in at three pounds pretty much anybody who meets the requirements for this weapon can pick it up and use it there's really nothing special that you need to uh, pay attention to when you're using this weapon it's a straightforward uh, straight sword that as long as you're comfortable with the move set anybody can pick it up and do some decent work with it straight swords have been my personal favorite class of weapons mainly because it allows me to still be light and still use a shield um, some of you guys may or may not use shields but for people who do um, this is actually a good weapon to kind of complement the shield and for me personally I really do like staying light and with this weapon I was under the 50% total equip load so whenever I can use a weapon that's still pretty good and still stay underneath 50% uh, that's always a plus for me um, at that point in time you can actually use Yorg's ring or I think it's Flynn's ring I always get mixed up but uh, you can use one of those rings that um, with the lower your equip burden, the more damage you can do. I checked it though, and you don't really get too much more in the bonus. Um, I don't know if they maybe have nerfed it because being underneath the 50% uh, equip bur burden, I noticed that with certain weapons, I can get up to 50 to 70 extra points in the attack rating. With this weapon, I think I was getting somewhere near 20 points. Um, wasn't really worth it to be honest, but... Um, for the simple fact that I always have a spare ring slot that I never really use and for the simple fact that I was already really light I figured what the hell but for the most part like I said not that impressive but if you have a spare ring slot that might be something you might want to go with but that's pretty much gonna wrap it up there's really not too many bad things I could say about the weapon um, in my honest opinion even though it has a lot of good things that I really like about a lot of different weapons um, 
in my opinion, this one just really didn't do it for me. Um, even though I really do like it and I think it's really cool, I don't really see myself using it too often. But uh, it definitely is something that I will pick up here and there. But uh, like I said, that's really my personal opinion. I do recommend picking it up if you have the spare material to upgrade it. But uh, for the most part, that's pretty much going to wrap it up. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, take care.